السلام عليكم محاضرة رقم ثلاثة of immunology اللي هي نحكي عن the origin of immune cells this is one of my uh, favorite lectures uh, it puts a lot of perspective into perspective what we have mentioned so far بالمحاضرات الثلاثة الماضية and it is actually one of the uh, يعني المحاضرات الإميونولوجي اللي هم يكون معلومات جديدة uh, meaning إنه فيما سبق ما كنا نعرف الحكي ما كنا نعرف يعني بتذكر لما بعض الأساد القدام اللي درسوني ولما كنت أنا كلية الطب قبل عشر سنين بس درسوني ناس كانوا يعني دارسين قبل عشرين سنة أو ما هيك فكانوا يحكوا إنه we don't know what the thymus does the thymus is كذا وكذا now we know what the thymus is does and actually it has to do with the maturation of uh, T cells فخلينا نبلش نحكي عن ال ال the origin of these immune cells uh, بالبداية خلينا نتذكر إنه نحكي إنه all our cells all of them uh, except for few minor um, uh, maybe exceptions in certain cases بس خلينا نحكي يعني for for the sake of يعني knowledge اللي نحكي هون عنا إن all our cells display the MHC1 complex فالخلية as it is producing its self proteins it always displays them on an MHC1 إذا دخل فيروس وصار يعمل فيروس بارتيكلز دول فيروس بارتيكلز رح يطلعوا على MHC1 if I have a T cell a cytotoxic T cell that is مهمة activated it has been activated by the CD4 cell it has been deemed that its T cell receptor هاي هنا is the one that I need to capture this virus then this is has undergone clonal proliferation has undergone memory cell and then it will go هدول العدد الهائل منهم بصيروا دوروا على الخلايا that are infected with the virus because they have underwent clonal proliferation I have made millions of this one بروحوا بدوروا and they kill the cells that are infected with the virus هاي مود وان المود التاني أو the second thing is the B cell, B cell as as a, مثلا, is as a APC. هي عندها the MHC1. It has MHC1. It does produce MHC1, but it also has MHC2, and it can present an antigen if it interacts with its with its IgM and then with its MHC class two. It can present the antigen to a CD4 cell. So that's just a quick recap. خلينا هلا هدول أشياء بهمونا لأننا رح نحكي about the origin of immune cells. هلا lymphoid cells are the responders of the immune reaction inducing stimuli. وإحنا نعرف إنه lymphoid cells are the one are the main players of the adaptive immune system. So during the growth of the fetus, the embryonic stage, these lymphoid cells هم لحالهم مع the blood precursors grow in origin in the liver and the yolk sac of the fetus تمام هلا يعني انه هل يوجد lymphoid cells during the embryonic stage they are there are lymphoid stage but they are still in the liver and the yolk sac بعد الولادة the remaining stem cells are housed كلهم في البون ميرو اللي هم بصيروا يا erythroid اللي هم red blood cells myeloid اللي هم white blood cells or lymphoid lymphocytes هلا lymphocytes احنا بنعرف انه عندنا T lymphocytes وعندنا B lymphocytes هلا the differentiation and forming of ears of either of these is promoted and enhanced by interleukin seven, which is بن عمل من خلايا المحيطة بالخلايا الليمفويدة that are maturating during in the thymus for the T cells or the bone marrow for the B cells. فصار عنا كلمة thymus أول حرف منها T is for for T cells, the B cells because they maturate in the bone marrow. And both the stromal cells, يعني الخلايا المحيطة, الخلايا المشكلة لل لل stroma inside the bone marrow or the thymus are the ones that keep enhancing their production and differentiation. It does it 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 يعني ينمو and maturate by producing interleukin seven. تمام. So B cells in the bone in the bone marrow and the T cells in the thymus. So as for T cells, they either become حكي أنا يعني يا إنه CD4 positive cell, these are the helper cells, or they become CD8 cells. تمام. So, B cells, the only differentiation pathway is that they, uh, if they are activated, they become plasma cells and they can uh, produce large amounts of antibodies 
or يعني احنا شو عرفنا من بعد ان B cells can activate either independently of T cells بصير يعملوا IgM or they can be activated by T cells and they can become uh, IgG or IgA or IgD or IgE producing uh, B cells. So بنعرف uh, هاي ال helper T cells بنعرف interleukin 4 and 5 for the B cells, interleukin 2 for the T cells for the CD8 cells. بس احنا في عندنا ال bone marrow stem cell. So the bursa equivalent in bone marrow in humans. Oh no, this is where the B cells differentiate. We plasma cells, antibodies, or they move to the thymus and they become either CD8 or هي حط لقطين هيو يا CD8 يا CD4 cells. And then we have our هاي الفكرة من المحاضرة الأولى والثانية نعرفها. شو بصير خلال their differentiation? So we have the, this bone marrow stem cell. Yeah, but the label bone marrow and becomes a, a, a pro B cell or a thymic stem cell. Hello, thymus stem cells. This, they will accumulate in the thymus, and then they will start their maturation in the thymus. So first, the DNA will start. نحكي عن كيف محاضرة قادمة عن لما نحكي عن T cell receptor. How the DNA uh, is mix random types of T cell receptor. بحيث إنه كل T cell receptor يقدر تعرف لي على different antigen. So you start making, you are still making up this. يعني هاي الخليزة كان قبل تقرر شو هو شكل T cell receptor تبعها. So it starts making its T cell receptor. راح يكون في عندها CD2. That's the first uh, cluster of differentiation protein. Uh, بعدين they either uh, become so. Uh, uh, the, 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 so um, these signals for RAG1 and RAG2, if you remember, we mentioned them. Uh, I start differentiating. Now it is mature, it knows what kind of antigen it wants to bind. All of them have a CD3 and CD2. CD2 is, uh, is for adhesion, so it can. Uh, Adhere to the, uh, to the to the stroma and the cells around them, and and it is a co it produces a co stimulatory signal for differentiation. alpha beta. These are these are the common CD uh, or T cells. There are alpha beta cells. بعدين في في هنا the gamma delta cell. هلا بنحكي عنها كمان شوي. بس هدول أغلب الخلايا راح يروحوا على هذا pathway. هلا بتشوف الخلية صار T cell T cell receptor تبعها mature. It will have the CD2 to, to help it in differentiation. Our Masir T cell receptor mature, it will produce CD3. Cluster uh, differentiation 3, CD3, موجود على كل T cell receptor. كل خلية that تستخدم T cell receptor تبعها, it will have the CD3 with her. So, uh, it's, it, it helps this stabilization. فرح مين مين بيحتاج هذا الحكي T cell receptor CD3 complex بيحتاجهم? CD4 cell. هلا فمع الخلية at this point it will produce CD4, CD8, CD2 and CD3. So 3, 2, 3, 4 and 8. Everything. So it has produced everything. بعدين تمشي على two pathways. يا بتصير CD8 cell تترك CD4 وتصير CD8 cell أو تترك CD8 وتصير CD4 cell. CD4 cell بحاجة لT cell receptor so it will be CD2, 3 and 4 positive. إذا صارت CD8 cell it will be CD2 and 8. Positive. هذا خلصنا this pathway. هلا the other pathway is for them to become gamma delta cells. Gamma delta cell عندها CD عندها T cell receptor عندها CD2. It resembles the CD4 cell, but it does not have CD4 on it. عندها تشبه الخلية CD4 without having the CD4. So it is not a regulatory cell. ما بنعرف the function تبعها بالضبط. But we do know, بما أنه ما عنده CD4, we do know that it does not it, it does not activate by MHC dependent manner. So it is independent of MHC. فمعناته ما مش by having MHC2 coming to the CD to the T cell receptor and activating it. Uh, there might be uh, this مش معروف إذا إذا could be possibly for lipids that lipids may may be uh, this is the form where lipids can activate T cells. Uh, يعني Honestly, there's a lot of research going on about them, and uh, it's still forming. So this is the thymic part of the differentiation of uh, lymphocytes. Now, 
in bone marrow, you will have either the natural killer cells, the CD56 positive cells, which, are, which act in, in, independently, and they are naturally able to kill cells that are not producing MHC1 or have abnormal protein on the MHC1. It's just a stem cell, it's the CD56 cell. In the B cell, it, becomes, it starts as a pro-B cell. The pre-B cell receptor is when the زي ما هون القصة كانت إنه أعد بعمل ريسبتور لأنتيجين معين فهون أنا أعد بعمل IgM تبعي لا 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 IG لا أنتيجين معين فAs the DNA is being formed and it is choosing which genes to use بطلع شكله Ah that is Ah that is maturing هي اسمها pre B cell صار ال DNA طل ال DNA بحكيك وبعدين كيف إنه DNA how this maturing of the genes happens خلاص عرفنا شو الجينات أنا بستخدمهم which which of the variable genes I'm using which of the constant gene I'm using راح يكون شكل ال ف it's a random process عشان هيك راح يطلع عندي كل T cell receptor شكله مختلف كل IgM هون شكله مختلف صار ال receptor is is mature فصار على هاد مس ال antibody it's an IgM antibody هو ال receptor تبعها إلا it captures antigens well فصارت now it's a mature B cell إذا was activated by a CD4 cell or an independent manner but still plasma cell which keeps producing the same antibody as the antibody that is on its surface. فهذا ال IgM is خلينا نحكي مثلاً IgM هذا طلع إنه specific بربط في protein ل H1N1 influenza. So it will produce IgM لهذا. لما تصير plasma cell ممكن تعمل IgG also specific for the same antigen ل H1N1 influenza مثلاً. So this is this slide. This is بحكي لك in briefly everything how everything. هاي بخلنا ندخل شوية بحنا في بعض التفاصيل. So uh, this one shows how the uh, liver fetus bone marrow. You have this uh, uh, stem cell which becomes staging or becomes pre pro and pre B cell and then mature B cell, see mature B cell, and then you have yeah and have independent and then produces IgM or it becomes activated by by uh, Th2. Uh, the CD4 cell, it activates, it becomes, تعمل IgM, تحوله to IgG, IgA, IgD, becomes more, هذا الحكينا قبل شوية. So that's one pathway. The other pathway, اللي هو جوا الثايمس, هي الثايمس, دخلوا عليهم, and then they start maturing, yeah, into CD4 cell, وهدول بصيروا, so CD4 cell, بعدين activates مثلا CD8 cells, we have the T cell, TC1, نحكي عنهم بعدين هذا. بعدين هنا, the CD4 cells, and then the other Th1, Th2, Th3, Th17 responses. برضو نحكي عنه لقدام شوي. Or the T regulatory cell, it will see. So this happens all in the thymus. So خلينا هلا نشوف معلوماتنا. So antigen receptors on surface. Do T cells have that? Yes, it's their T cell receptor. Do B cells have that? Yes, it's the it's the IgM receptor. Antigen receptor recognizes only processed peptides in association with MHC protein. هل هل T cell هذا موجود؟ طبعا T cell T cell مثلا يا T cell receptor تبعها ال antigen receptor مثلا T cell receptor. It only recognizes if it cannot CD4 cell it needs MHC2. If it cannot CD8 cell it needs MHC1. So that's two. That's true. هل هذا ال IgM بحاجة ل MHC؟ مش بحاجة ل MHC. So it can. The antigen receptor, هذا تبعها, can recognize any peptide. ذكر رح كن peptide lipid, عفوا, peptide lipid or sugars or anything. That that's for the B cell. The antigen receptor recognizes whole unprocessed proteins. هذا هو بالعكس. رح كن this happens for the B cells. ولا the T cells only peptides عن عن MHC. IgM on the surface mean the B cell. CD3 on the surface who will have will be on on the T cell. Clonal expansion after contact with a specific antigen. هذا طبعا رح كن على الاثنين. You find this specific antigen, you will do ha have clonal proliferation. So this happens for both. Immunoglobulin synthesis. Me be antibodies. It'll be said. Me be regulation for the antibody synthesis. The CD the CD4 cell. Interleukin two, four, five, and cam interleukin synthesis. Me be amal hadoral signals. A T cell, خاصة مين CD4 cell. Effector of cell mediated immunity. إيش يعني في effector of cell mediated immunity؟ يعني اللي تيجي as a cellular cytotoxic response. مين تشتغل؟ مين بيعمل الحكي؟ CD8 cell. So it is for the T cells. Maturation of the thymus. نعم. The T cells, not the B cells. And maturation of the bone marrow for the B cells. So this is the good comparison between the T cells and the B cells. هلا خلينا نحكي عن origin. 
of T cells, cells that would become T cells, or we call them T cell uh, precursors. They differentiate into adult and immune component T cells in the thymus. Tamam. These precursors, before entering the thymus, any identifying surface proteins, بكونوا هو كسر differentiation بكون زي ما مجنن بالصورة مش كونوا مش موجود. Once they are passing through the thymus, بصيروا they as they are differentiating ذكروا بالصورة they will express both proteins. فهم as as they become as ذكروا بالصورة هنا they have everything. This is what we're talking. They have CD4, CD8, CD2, CD3. They have everything. So, هذا هم هلا لما يطلع قبل ما يطلع من الثايمس يعني أوصل الثايمس قبل ما يدخلوا هم طلعوا من البون ما رايحين على الثايمس ما عندهم ولا CD بروتين دخلوا على CD بروتين بس بيصيروا double positive. They are CD4 and CD8 positive. طبعاً عندهم two with three. Then they finally differentiate. Yeah, either CD4 cell if it becomes into contact with cells bearing MRC2 protein or CD8 cell if it comes in contact with CD with uh, cells bearing MHC1, uh, 65% is CD4. خلينا نحكي شو يعني الحكي. هلا هم الداخل الثايمس، الثايمس شو بيساوي؟ الثايمس عبارة عن مدرسة. هذا المدرسة بتحط لها الخلايا كل ال كل السيجنالز ذات ذي نيد تو سي إف ذي كان ورك أور نوت. فبتحط لهم أول إشي بالمدرسة بدرسوا عليه بحطوا لهم اذا حط بحطوا MHC2 و MHC1 اذا انت بتمسك مع MHC2 معناتها انت شو CD4 فبصير هاي CD4 سيل اذا انت بتمسك مع MHC1 معناتها انت شغلك راح تصير تخصصك CD8 معناته انت CD8 سيل هذا اول درس بتعلموه في الثايمس مين مين الخلايا اللي بي اللي بيجم... اللي هم خلايا الستروومال سيلز فور ذا ثايمس اللي هم بيعملوا الانتروكن 7 ذا كيب بروجريسنج الخلايا از ذا بروجريس الخلايا ذا ماتشو ذيم في الخلية هاي بدها تصير CD4 ولا CD8 cell according to which teachers it came into contact with. إذا هذا teacher بعلمها على MHC2 then it is CD4 إذا بعلمها على MHC1 then it is a CD8 cell. فتقريبا ثنتين هم بصيروا CD4 cell from this signal. هلا إذا كانت CD4 CD عفوا double positive 408 ما عنده contact لا MHC with MHC2 it will not form CD4. So uh, I, this is what we just mentioned. So this is, for example, mutant mice, اللي ما عندهم MHC2 بخلاياهم. They never make produce produce CD4 because you need MHC2 to be present in the thymus to differentiate cells into CD4 cells. So they they lack the stimulus that makes CD4. Fashion, they retain the ability to make them. They they don't have it and they never have CD4 cells. Even though if you give them MHC2, then they become then they will have they will have the ability to make CD4 cells. So as double negative cells are coming into the thymus, they become through outer cortex, بتخرج بشر من cortex, and then they differentiate gradually, gradually. لما بتخرجوا بصيروا بالمدولة, بالمدولة mature. خلي يعني فزها مدولة mature. Once they are in the medulla, they are mature, and then they they are released to the blood here. فهاي أول واحدة stem cell دخلت ما عندها ولا شيء لا CD4 ولا CD8 ولا T cell receptor. بتبلش تشتغل على T cell receptor تعمله. بتعمل CD4 و CD8. هلا هذا يصير صار double positive and then has the T cell receptor. هلا بيحكي لك death of cells with T cell receptor that do not react with self MHC proteins. شو يعني هذا أول signal. هذا هون بصير بسميه إحنا بنسميه positive selection. إيش يعني positive selection? If you can do the job, you progress. If you can't do the job, you dead. You are dead. That's positive selection. Do you have positive? Are you CD4, CD8, T cell receptor positive? Yes, هاي واحد. Can you bind to MHC1 or 2? Can you bind to anything? And can you do your job? Can you become CD4 or CD8 cell? And if it can't bind, then it can't differentiate to either CD4 or CD8. فهون بصير أول شيء positive selection. If it can't bind, it 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 is killed. عفوا ده إذا نحط ال charger. So if you can't bind, then then you are killed. So, how does our positive selection? Now, to go to negative selection. Should I negative selection? Negative selection. If you do something, I kill you. For sure, sure. Is the 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 If your T cell receptor recognizes self, so in negative selection involves the death of cells with T cell receptors that recognizes self antigens. Is يعني 
هلا انت بتقدر تمسك ام اتش سي 1 وام اتش سي 2 ما شاء الله عليك محترم انت كويس اهلا وسهلا اي بروسس يو هير سو ناو يو كان ايذر بيكم سي دي 4 سي دي 8 سيل هلا بدي اشوفك كان يو كان يو ريكوجنايز خلاياي سيل فروم نان سيل فشو بروح بيساووا؟ بروحوا بيعرضوا عليهم كل الانتيجين تبعين البادي لمين؟ للسي دي 4 للسي دي 8 للتي سيل 4 تي سيل بلس ريسبتورز بيعرضوا عليهم جميع خلايا جميع الانتيجين تبعين السيلف بيعرض عليهم سيلف مسل سيلف اندوثيليال سيلف برين سيلف وات ايفر وات ايفر بروتينز ذات خلايا بتعملهم ليش؟ لانه خلايا الثايمس ار ماي سيل اند دي هاف ماي اول ماي دي ان اي اند دي كان بروديوس اول ماي بروتينز فبيعرضوا عليهم بروتين سيلف 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 هلا هذول الخلايا ذات اي هاف ديم ديم ذات دي كان بصير يمشوا اذا مسكت في ام اتش سي 1 ات ذيس بوينت فياتو سيلف بروتين ذن يو ار نوت ا جود سيل يو ويل بيكم ان اوتو اميون سيل يو ويل كيل مي I will I will destroy you at this point. For high chalaya, it moot. Mean chalaya pimshi the ones that do not react to the proteins inside the MHC one or MHC two. Ma'ato dal chalaya do not do not recognize self. Ma'ato they will always recognize non-self. Ana darabtum hum me bithaymas to only recognize self. Because if they recognize they recognize self. عفوا دو نوت ريكوجنايز سيلف بيكوز اف ذي ديد اي كيل ذيم فانا قتلت الكل الخلايا اللي ريكوجنايز سيلف هذول الخلايا انا الثايمس عندي بيطلعوا سي دي 4 وسي دي 8 سيلز نيفر ريكوجنايز سيلف بروتينز هلا هون اللي كانوا جنب الام اتش سي 1 بصيروا سي دي 8 سيلز اللي هم هون واذا كانوا ريكوجنايز ام اتش سي 2 بصيروا سي دي 4 سي دي 4 سيل اند ذاتس ات ذاتس ذا ستوري اوف ذا ديفلوبمنت اوف تي سيلز هاي واحدة من من نيتشر ريفيوز ات شوز ذا سيم ثينك هير يعني انه ذات دو نوت رياكت ويز ام سي بروتينز في اختلاف بسيط بس انه اتس بيسكلي ذا سيم ثينك ذا هيماتوبويتك سيمثون لمفوي بروجينيتور اند تمشي بعدين ان اديكويت تي سيل ريسبتور سيجنالينج ام سي 1 ريكوجنيشن بس سي دي 8 كوميتد ام سي 2 شو اسمه سي دي 4 كوميتد كان يو ريكوجنايز سيلف نيجاتيف سيلكشن And, and then if you can't then good you emigrate to the periphery so it's it's mostly the same so هذا اللي حكينا كله يعني there's uh, now we're just uh, going to review uh, the process first the first education process in no if the can cd4 uh, positive cd8 positive that are unable to react with self mrc ما بدي ما بشتغلوا هذا positive selection زي ما حكينا negative selection for reacting with cell proteins and positive selection for reacting with self MHC compensation حكينا now the cells react to self MHC proteins بيقدر نمسك MHC proteins but not to self proteins presented عليهم جواتهم بال MHC نعطو this is the cell the cell that I want from this uh, we can summarize two essential functions that MHC proteins اللي هم هم ال immune cells and they are needed for positive selection in the thymus هذا إشي تاني اللي بحكي زي ما حكينا بال بال these mice these mice that don't have CD4 cell, the, the MHC2, they, they don't have CD4 cells because I need these to uh, promote positive selection. So MHC proteins are the, mo are the most important antigens uh, recognized in the graft rejection process. Ilish, يعني لما أنا حط graft, مثلا skin graft على بني آدم, هذا هذول ال MHC الموجودين فياتهم مش هم الخ مش هو MHC دربت عليه أنا ك كخلية. هذا الام اتش سي 2 الام اتش سي اللي انا وين تحط لي اياه بالسكن الجديد اذا جبت سكن من واحد ثاني او كدني او whatever this is not my ام اتش سي فذاتس ذا فيرست ثينج ذات اند ذا فيرست انتجن ذات از بريزنتد اللي اللي بتعرف عليه وخلاه بيحكي هذا this is not mine انا كلنا تدربنا كلنا الليمفوسايتس تدربنا انه هذا نوت سيلف ام جوينج تو ديستروي ذاتس ذا بروسيس اوف جراف ريجكشن فعشان هيك احنا بنعمل ماتشنج اذا بتعمل ماتش لبني ادم We match the MHC proteins. That's what we do. That's the matching. So, let's see. For example, the HLA typing. HLA typing is actually the the genes, the the three genes that make the MHC one protein. So, كل ما كان أقرب كل ما كان أقل chance إنه the the donor the receipt the recipient's lymphocytes will not react to the donor's MHC protein. This is a very important concept here. Hello. Once inside the thymus, I can two preparation process occurs. How the thymus education clonal deletion happens, where cells that are either CD4 positive or CD8 positive bearing antigen receptors for self proteins are killed by apoptosis. So this is the negative selection. I think I'm trying to say here. So 
يعني ايش هون اذا كانوا في في سي دي 4 كوميتد اور 8 كوميتد دزنت ماتر اف يو رياكت تو سيلف بروتينز يو ار كيلد ذن ذس نيجاتيف سيلكشن بروسيس كونتينز ذا سيلكشن كرايتيريا هم حكينا على ذا نيجاتيف سيلكشن اجينست سيلف بروتينز ويل ريزلت ان ريموفال اوف سيلز ذات ويل نوت توليريت اور ذات ويل ريموف ذات وود يا ويل نوت توليريت سيلف بروتينز اور وود رياكت سيلف بروتينز سو ذي ار انديوسينج ان ميون رياكشن Against cell proteins, معناه هدول الخلايا يعني ما بدي إياهم. Okay, that's what we said. Thymus epithelial cells, هم هدول الخلايا اللي حكينا عن stromal cells that do the education by displaying. هم the very large diverse selection of cell proteins. اللي أنا زي كان ب ب ب ب بمتحنهم. Are you going to react? If you did, you are negatively selected, and I will kill you. So here, cells are basically tested for their reaction with cell proteins. هذا حكيناهم. A transcriptional regulator called autoimmune regulator (AIRP) enhances the synthesis of this array of cell proteins. هو من الأدوات الصلبة that we use for the diversity, the diverse proteins that are used for the education. So this is called autoimmune. For اللي هو إذا في عندك mutation في ياتو, so you will not be able to have Uh, good education for cell proteins, but they have autoimmune polyendocrinopathy in this ca in this in this case. So also during uh, their passage through the thymus, the machina, the double positive T cell, the CD4, CD8 positive cells, uh, will also start the production of many different and highly specific antigen receptors. Whom is the T cell receptor? The machina, which is immature, but then becomes mature to a specific Antigen one is specific antigen. كل خلية is specific to one antigen. So this is made possible by the rearrangement. ما هلا بلش نحكي عن يعني أول touch على how this happens. How am I? How do I mature my T cell receptor? I have variable and diverse joining genes. بكون عندي ورجيكم صورة بعدين المحاضرة اللي بكون. فأنا I'm using different combination of different genes. مثلاً بكون عندي ثلاثين of gene one. عندي عشرين of gene two وعندي مثلاً خمسين of gene three and three of gene four فبستخدم مثلاً واحد من هذا gene one واحد من هال ثلاثين copy بعدين واحد من من عشرين copy whatever من gene two واحد من خمسين copy with gene three and واحد of the four copies of gene four and I come up with a T cell receptor معناته إذا بدك تأخذ how many different combinations can you have if you have twenty thirty fifty four How many combinations? You will have millions of different combinations. For every combination, it will be specific to to an antigen. That's the basic idea. What are antibodies and what are T cell receptors? After that, we'll do more detail when we talk about them. But that's the basic idea. Now I have four, five, three sets of genes, and I have many different combinations. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an antigen. Every one of them is specific to an For a different antibody IgM each time. Forty percent of lymphocytes are intra-epithelial lymphocytes. These are called so because they develop in the similar manner as they would they would do in the in the thymus, but they don't develop in the thymus, but they do in the lymphoid in the gut associated lymphoid tissue. How do I label zero intestinal lymphocytes? And they are good protectors against. The intestinal pathogens. So the thymus-derived lymphocytes and IELs have different antigen receptors and surface proteins. Um, alpha, beta versus the gamma, delta. How the one of the functions that we can talk about them, the gamma, delta, do is that they can. They are ones that may function in the gut. Nas and mild thymus thyroid syndrome are very immune deficient. They are not going to have CD4 or CD8 cells, but they still have the IELs. 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 They It's still not known, but we know that we will see later. We know that the, as you said, that these the 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 students who are studying in this school, the old thymus, after they involute, they become teachers. That's one theory. That that how do they become teachers? They help mature cells 
or other 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 T cells in the um, in the in the lymph in the lymph nodes. So they can grow on other areas. Other areas are small, but they can grow on people. It's still not, يعني this theory is still not shown, but we do know that remnant of thymus is still functional all throughout life. So you have function retention. We can ask, you know, at least even even though it's small, it it it's it's enough for you because you have when you are when you have when you are little and you have a large thymus, you are meeting a lot of antigens. So you need a large thymus. But then, see, خلاص أنت تعرفت على كل الثايمس. كل الأنتيجين مش بحاجة لكل هالخلايا، so it involutes. That's another theory. بحكي لك إن أكثر ثايمس تشيور هو هذا الثيري الثاني إنه and and the T cells may may help in the maturation of other T cells. تخلص هنحكي عن T cells هنا. هلا نحكي عن ال B cells. مثل ال T cells. ال B cells also have precursor cells. حكينا from pre to pro to fully mature maturing B cell to a mature B cell to a plasma cell. Uh, so the B cells also undergo negative selection, and them command because of the negative selection. So, but مش أعلى لهم بطلع عليهم إنه اللي اللي بدور عليهم they don't have the T cell receptor, they have the B cell receptor, who will IgM. So by apoptosis, the same thing I can بعمل negative selection if you exhibit self antigen, if you react to self antigen, there's still negative selection here. But because I need a larger diversity of IgM, the chalaya اللي تتعرف على السلف, the chalaya اللي تتعرف على السلف من B cells, ما بقتلهم أول مرة. I give it a chance to rearrange its DNA. زي ما زي ما حكينا الفكرة إنه مثلاً عندك ثلاثين جين من جين one وأربعين من جين two whatever من جين three. So I give it time to take another chance to see if it will not react a second time this gives me more uh, more diversity of the B cell receptor so this is where B cells do not immediately turn to negative selection they give them a chance to edit if they edit and and they still react to self then they are deleted and undergo negative selection so up to 50% of cell reactive B cells they are allowed they are they survive by receptor editing فهاي هي so the stem cell comes becomes a pro B cell then pre B cell هي صارت mature this is a mature transition B cell then you have it will be released from the bone marrow and then mature elsewhere so the cell maturation of the B cell is defined by how mature it is the mature اللي هو ال receptor وليس وجود ال cluster of differentiation proteins هلا اللقم ثلاثة اللي هو ال NK cells, natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are large granular lymphocytes. لا بروحوا بتعلموا بالثايمس ولا بتعلموا بالبون مارو. But they are naturally able to do to do their job. That's why we call them natural killer cells. Their job is killing, and they are natural at it without education. ما بدهم education. So they are natural at it, and what do they do? They kill. So they are natural killer cells. They do not have antigen receptors. ولا عندهم CD4 ولا CD8 ولا إشي. They do not even require, عفوا, antigen presentation by MHC2 or MHC1. But they are talented that they use the fact that cells which are infected no longer produce MHC1. فأي خلية شو بتساوي بتدور على ضلها تلف هاد بهالجسم ضلها تلف. عندك MHC1 عندك ما شاء الله عليك كويس MHC1 تبعك منيح أحسنت. يعني زي كأنك بتروح بتسلم على كل الخلايا بتسلم على MHC1 مرحبا بتسلم عليه بتمسك بهال MHC1 you have it it looks fine everything is fine السلام عليكم بتروح على الخلية الثانية والثالثة والرابعة بضل تفتح هاي this is its job once it detects a cell that is not lacks MHC1 or has an abnormal MHC1 مش قادر تضغط فيه معناته هاي الخلية ما لها إشي يا ما يا has a يا has it is a tumor cell it is no longer producing MHC or it is infected by a virus it is no longer producing MHC1 هذا عشان هيك الخلايا بدأت بدأت تهرب. It's tried not to show what is inside it. هو إنه أنا متى وأنا دائما I have to keep showing what is inside me. So that's what NK cells do. They come. ما عندك MHC1. I can't say hi to you. I will destroy you. That's their job. So it is an effector without needing regulation. So هلا الخلايا الثانيين هم الماكروفاجز. 
هم الماكروفاجز حكينا عن ان كي سيلز بي سيلز تي سيلز they all come from the lymphoid precursors الماكروفاجز come from myeloid precursors they are not lymphocytes macrophages have two important functions we know AP, uh, they are APCs and they are phagocytes again I command they produce interleukins to warn the body in the presence of uh, uh, microorganisms foreign cells and they start the acute phases protein process they NK cells they do not pass through the thymus or have antigen receptors however since they are antigen presenters they have MHC2 on their surface which is essential for the activation of CD uh, for cells they also have MHC1 so if they cannot a macrophage that is infected by a virus so it will be killed by a CD8 cell because the CD8 cells will bind to the MHC1 produced on the macrophage's surface um, <clears throat> main function NK cells kill MHC1 lacking cells virus infected cells tumor cells mark for destruction macrophages are Phagocytes, they destroy, clean up dead cells, cytotoxic T cells, CD8 cells, they kill cells showing non cell protein on MHC1. They can't bind to it if you don't have MHC1. Neutrophil, these are all effective function. Neutrophil, only macrophages, phagocytes, and they kill debris. How do they destroy the target? In NK cell, they reduce perforance, they have CD8 cells. Perforance and or induce apoptosis as well. Had all the tentin, which are not such they are all phagocytes, so by phagocytosis. P antigen presentation hona, mafi. P antigen presentation hona, yes. P hona, mafi hona, mafi. Type of immunity in K cell is an innate. Macrophage is an innate and adaptive. Cytotoxicity is adaptive, and this one is innate. So helper T cells, CD4, T cell receptor, CD28 protein. We're going to talk about CD28 a little bit later. Cytotoxic T cell, CD8, T cell receptor, and B cell, and the IgM or B7. We're going to talk about B7. But then, macrophages have class two MHC and class one. NK cells are receptors for class one MHC, and all other cells other than mature red blood cells, they all have MHC1 proteins. Hala, RBCs, the mature ones, they don't have MHC1 because they don't have a nucleus. For in the MHC1 is producing, is showing the proteins that are being produced. By your nucleus. If you don't have nucleus, you don't have. You don't need MHC1. Why the cells in case of not able to do RBCs? Because RBCs are left with negative negative signals that inhibit attachment of in case cells. So in case cells not able to do RBCs. So you can think about the RBCs in whom they are not even cells. Because they don't have a nucleus. They don't have protein transcription or translation. They only whom as they are maturing. They make the DNA. They make all the hemoglobin that they need, and then, خلاص. بصير بس this is only their function, and as long as they are alive for this 120 days is what they're doing. So that's one. هلا نحكي عن T cells. T cells have two major roles in the immune function. هم regulatory as helper cells or as effector. هم cytotoxic T cell regulator. So it tells others by means of signals and home interleukins or effector by loop as a CD8 cell. So the regulatory role of the CD4 cell is mediated by signal proteins and home interleukins, the mechanism 2, which activates itself and CD8 cells, 4 for B cells uh, to make antibodies, gamma interferon to enhance uh, macrophages. So the effective function of T cells are carried out by Effector function, يعني the job doing. أقولك ها the regulator is the job managing. خلينا نحكي واحد manager واحد دور. So that's what we just mentioned. Activate macrophages, B cells, T cells, and then activate antigen specific T cells to produce clones of these cells. So زي ما حكينا كثير مهم نعرف إنه interleukin two is the signal for clonal proliferation and activation of CD four. And CD8 cells by function of activating CD4 cells. So uh, CD4 and CD8 types of cells, T cell uh, progenitor uh, cells differentiate from outer layers of cortical epithelial high. 
T cell progenitor differentiate under the thymic hormones, um, thymocins and thymopoietins into uh, T cell populations. They have presence on them. CD3, Hakina, is present on all T cells that have a T cell receptor. For all of T cell receptor, for all of them will have CD3. CD3 is a complex of five transmembrane proteins. Its main function is to transmit the signal main T cell receptor to the nucleus. How do I get the interleukin-2 out from the nucleus? I need to start making it. But who tells the nucleus? CD3. CD3 tells mean, 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 receptor. If the T cell receptor has found the antigen, it's a very unique shape that is only unique to a specific protein. If the antigen is found, it means it has the antigen. If it doesn't have the antigen, it has a protein that has not been found. If it has the antigen, it will change its shape a little bit. So the CD3 will know that had a sign of the wasn't it it will say, okay, we have found our antigen. It will transmit the signal. So this CD3, the transmembrane protein, is linked to a tyrosine kinase called FIN, FYN, which is involved in the signal transduction. And the secondary messengers further transmit the signal. We will show more detail later on. So CD4 is a single transmembrane protein, much say CD3. CD8 is made up of two transmembrane proteins, and that is uh, a possible way for them to uh, transmit signals as well. T cells are subdivided by then into two uh, main uh, categories on the basis whether they have CD4 or CD8 on the surface when they mature, but they never have both. The high T cell receptor. So you have uh, an alpha and beta chain. وهي الصحن إذا تملى الصحن the CD3 بيكون مرتبطين you have CD3 on both ends that send the signal through their enzymes and tyrosine kinases down to the nucleus وإذا كان عندك if you are CD4 positive you will also have the CD4 um, uh, protein which helps the differentiation you know, يرتبط مع ال MHC2 so um, CD4 lymphocytes perform their regulatory function in the following manner. They can help activate CD8 cells to become activated uh, T cells. We know this, cytotoxic T cell. They help activate B cells to become plasma cells. They help activate macrophages to, to uh, um, their function. They improve their function, especially their delayed hypersensitivity, which is a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. So they activate CD8 cells, B cells, and macrophages. The first two functions, they work by CD4, you need CD4-4, and uh, now we're going to talk about the uh, TH1 and TH cells. I think uh, it's, that's, I'm going to break it up into the next lecture because this, uh, we are running out of time. We're going to talk about how the CD4 cell has two populations, which are um, CD4, TH1 CD4 cells, the cellular response and the TH2 subpopulation which is the humoral uh, that uh, activates the humoral response.